Come to the podium now. Men's got a record of 35, one and one. 19 of those victories have come by knockout. He's beaten everybody that he's faced. He's one of boxing's pound for pound best. Unique skill, combination, knockout power, sublime boxing skills. He is the undisputed junior middleweight champion of the world. He's known as the Iron Man, Jermell Charlo. Long time coming, baby. Um, I want to say thank you to Tim Canelo, Eddie, um, Saul himself. Uh, they're legends in the game of boxing. They're, they're, they did it. They made it. They uh, they able to put on great. They able to put on great shows and great fights and. Um, just want to be the one that get in there and take away from all of that though. You know, it's been years, me and my brother have been putting on the boxing and the Charlotte Twins and uh, just, it's, it's time now, you know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of guys worry about the wrong things of moving up the way and doing this and doing that. When you want to, when you want to win something this big, you got to risk it all. And this is a part of that moment. You know, I appreciate everybody that supported me, the whole Texas gang, everybody behind me, Derek James, Juan Guzman, they've been rocking with me, Showtime, been putting on a hell of a deal uh, this year, and I'm so proud to be one of the ones that able to get in there and step up and fight. So, um, as we move around, we do these tours and have fun, I'm training my ass off, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy with it, and, and, and gonna play it smart. So, y'all tune in, lock in, pay per view, September 30th, uh, be there, be square. It's been a turn up. We're gonna turn this shit into a whole nother ball field, and, and I'm, I'm excited for it. Like I, you know, I gotta feed the family. We're gonna do it in a whole fucking different fashion. You know what I'm saying? Lines on me, leg on, and uh, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming to the podium. This man's got a record of 59, two and two, 39 of his victories have come by knockout. Boxing's biggest superstar. Won the pound for pound greats. Surefire, first ballot, Hall of Famer. You heard Steven Espinosa say he's beaten 18 world champions. He is the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. Saul Canelo Alvarez. I don't know if I let him translate his <laughs> English, but I just want to say this in, in Spanish because you know my people from Mexico want to know everything I, I want to say. I just want to say in English this, thank you, thank you for taking this fight. I, you're one of the fighters I ever see because you was a great fighter, definitely, definitely fighter. You you fighting with Chatito Howdy from Mexico. We are in the same gym, so uh, I appreciate the, this position right now. And thank you to everybody supporting me, Al Hyman, everybody involved in this in this in this fight. I'm very happy to be in this position right now, involved in this kind of fights, big fights. Uh, you know, Jermel Charlo is a great fighter in the spirit and his weight class. He take challenges like me. I always take risks. And we love being involved in, in, in these kind of fights. Al Hyman, thank you for for for, for this two show time. Everybody involved. I think right now the best promoters are Canelo Promotion and PVC. So uh, I'm happy to be in this position right now. And thank you and just uh, stay stay tuned. September 30 because it's gonna be a great fight. Uh, gracias a todos, gracias a todos por estar aquí. Gracias a toda la gente que siempre me ha apoyado. Estoy muy contento de, de, de poder estar involucrado en estas peleas, peleas grandes. Agradecido con Al Jaime, obviamente, con, con todos, con Showtime, con todos los que están involucrados en esta pelea, con, con, el, con, 
con el equipo de, de Charlo, John Guzmán es uno de los peleadores que, que, que veía cuando iba creciendo, Eddie me lo ponía, peleó con el chatito Harry, un peleador que estaba con nosotros, gran peleador defensivamente y así que estoy muy contento de estar en esta posición y, y agradecido con todos y como lo dije en inglés creo que ahorita eh, las mejores promotoras, la mejor promotora en el mundo creo que es Canelo Promotion y, 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 y PBC, así que muy contento y es un honor estar aquí eh, eh, con ustedes. Gracias. You fought on a number of platforms, got this new deal with PBC. Tell us why PBC and why Jermel Charlo as the first fight. I think it's the correct moment to to come here and fight with uh, PBC. Um, I'm glad to be here. I'm very happy. And why Jermel Charlo? I think he's a great fighter. He's one of the great fighters out there, and 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 I think this fight. For a long time, is is there, right? And and I think it's a correct time to do to do this fight. He's a great fighter. I'm I'm happy uh, to be involved in this kind of fight, like I say. And and, and he's a great fighter. Mel, can you let the boxing public know what exactly is Jamel Charlo out to prove by jumping up two weight classes and taking on boxing's biggest star? Well, I just really want to, you know, quiet my haters, quiet my doubters, and turn non-believers into believers. Um, I watched about a bunch of different examples of great people in the sport of boxing, and I think this is the best time and the best moment for me. I've accomplished everything, and Canelo has as well. So by putting two great fighters in there, you, you, you get nothing but fireworks. And a lot of fighters talk about that, but you get true fireworks from two great fighters. And to when a moment presents itself under this banner of PVC, um, it was a no question, it was a no brainer to, to make that happen. Yeah, we both got mandatories, we both got different things, but the hell with that when you got something big as, as this, that you know you could show the world of boxing and give the world of boxing such a performance. So I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna train my ass off, I'm gonna Fight my ass off and be intelligent. I know I'm moving up two way divisions. Who cares? We give a damn. You know? Um, but that don't that don't stop the, what I'm gonna get in there and how I do it and the way I do it. So um, I'm excited for this moment. Canelo, I was reading about this fight, and a publication wrote this quote. Canelo seems to have lost a step after the John Ryder victory. He could find himself in a real dogfight with the younger Charlo if he's taking this one for granted, end quote. How do you respond to that? I think it's good people talking about that, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. I think I don't look good in these two past fights, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, I know that, I know why, but I'm ready. I'm different, I'm different now. And, and I prepare myself for, for, for a different kind of fights. Every fight uh, are different. And this, this is different fight and I'm, I'm focused on Mel, was reading about the fight. Boxing News wrote this, quote, this should be an easy victory for Canelo who will have the power advantage, as well as being vastly more experienced, end quote. Your reaction to that? Fuck them, they don't like me. <laughs> they, they don't like me anyway. You know fuckers don't like me. They write all that crazy shit, they talk crazy about me. They talk crazy about them, they're like, be proud of what's going on, be happy for the fight. You know, but I don't care about them. When you step in the ring, it will be 16 months since you last fought. I know you've been rehabbing and all that. Will that be an issue? You always hear fighters say no, and then after the fight says, well, you know, it's been a while. The rust was there. Will that be an issue? I don't get no excuses. I don't care about it. I don't got excuses. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not coming in there to lay down. I'm, I'm coming to win. I come to win this fight. I don't care about all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Forget what they say. I don't care about none of that. Social media obviously has been 
ablaze about this fight. His brother said, I'm going to let my, my brother beat him. And then after that, I got next. Is that your plan to take you on Mel and then no, That's not my plan. <laughs> that's not my plan for sure. And we'll see. We'll see, right? And, and I'm focused 100% on this fight, and then we'll see. No? And I know everybody wants drama and everything. You know, they want uh, the fight each other right here and talking shit. But, uh, you know, when, when two fighters are 100% focused, like, we are right now, I think it's gonna be a great, great fight. No, no, no joke. Is Canelo Alvarez, in your opinion, still, because obviously people have seen Naomi Inouye, they've just seen Terrence Crawford, and everyone has so all of a sudden elevated them. Is Canelo Alvarez still, pound for pound, the best fighter in boxing? Look, I think they all deserve being in the top. They all deserve being in the top. Me, me too, right? It's through respect, say I'm the number one, or he's the number one, or the other is the number one. I think we all deserve being in the top. Jamel, this question is simple. Tell the people and tell me why Jamel Charlo is going to win this fight September 30th. My heart, my desire, my de de determination, and my, my, my guts. I will to win, um, speed, my power, my lateral movement, my ability, my training finesse. Canelo, same question. Tell me why Canelo Alvarez is going to win this fight against Jamel Charlo on September 30th. Oh, I have everything what he said too. And <laughs> I have experience and I have, I have, I have I've been in this position a lot of times. So, uh, and that's why we are here, right? To find out. We'll see September 30th. We'll wrap it up with this, guys. Last question for both of you. For everybody watching this, people who are going to go on AXS.com and buy tickets, come out to Las Vegas, all those people are going to buy Showtime pay-per-view. Jamel Charlo, what can you guarantee that they're going to get September 30th when you face Canelo Alvarez? I know I'm guaranteeing we're going to get it. Uh, it's just going to be awesome. It's going to be fireworks. It's going to be some lions rolling. <laughs> can that same question? What can you guarantee the fans that they're going to get on September 30th when you face Jermel Charles? I, I, I'm going to put my everything there. My experience, my power, my skills, everything to win this fight. And I, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great fight for, for the fans. It will be an unprecedented night. For the first time in the four belt era, you've got undisputed against undisputed fighter from the different weight division moving up to challenge and challenge themselves to be great. It will be one heck of a night on Showtime pay-per-view, September 30th, T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. You can purchase your tickets, AXS.com, AXS.com. Gentlemen, let's have one last face off. Go face to face first. There you have it. Undisputed versus undisputed. The Iron Man, Jermel Charlo, taking on Canelo Alvarez. Showtime pay per view, September 30th.